Hey everyone, my name is Lorenz. I'm going to show off our latest feature at Crew AI called Knowledge. Knowledge takes different file types from PDFs, Markdown, JSON files, and generates vector embeddings that get stored into a vector database. Our crew can fetch those relevant documents given a base of a given query, uh, providing our agents relevant details, information, and context that it could use to get better results. You can define this knowledge from the crew level. That means all the agents defined in this crew have access to this knowledge store, or each individual agent has its own knowledge source. You can define that on each individual agent layer. So that's a high overview of knowledge and crew. Let's dive deep into some examples for you to get started using knowledge in your crews. So let's do a simple example of how to set up knowledge in your crew projects. So if you do from crew AI, knowledge source, you can see that we support different file types. We just made an integration with uh, Docling, which is an open source tool from IBM, which enables different file types. But for this example, we're going to stick with JSON knowledge source. But you could, again, use strings, PDFs, images, and so forth, right? Could import that over here. And where do we define our knowledge sources? We have a, uh, in the Cree AI project repo. If you do Cree AI create crew and scaffold a project like this, you have access to storing knowledge into the knowledge directory. Here I have two JSON examples. One is just me, my name, my role, my favorite programming language, and where I'm based in and then a random.json, which is another person who's Jake, they're an actor, their favorite programming language is none, and they're based in LA. So let's take these two JSON files and do JSON knowledge source, and let's just do file paths. And you do not need to include the knowledge part. If it's inside knowledge directory, all you have to do is write the name of the file. And this is our JSON knowledge source. I'm going to show you the agents that we have defined, which is just one agent, which is understanding the user and answering questions about them. And again, there are no explicit details defined on the agent level or the task level that gives us in information about who we are, right? And again, there's nothing defined yet on our crew or on our agents. So if I were to do crew AI run, this won't be able to answer the question that we have defined here. What are the names of the users and what are the roles, right? The names of the users, the roles and city are not provided in the current context. So how do we now include that? So if we go over to crew, we can now I'm going to make this smaller so you guys can see knowledge sources and then self.json knowledge source that we've defined up here. Now we have access to, now our crew has access to our, our knowledge source. So if you do create a run again, now it can give us details. It'll generate the vector embeddings, store them into our vector database, and boom, Lorenz and the second person is Jake. So this works. Super simple way of setting this up. Let's, let's transition into a more complex use case, right? We're going to create a QA crew. This will have three agents. One of those agents will have specialized knowledge, and then all the rest will have a different knowledge source, right? Typically, what we see is being able to use knowledge for handling and storing static file types, things that don't really change. Something like our, our open source docs, right? We have core concepts, things that, you know, these are files that are actually within our open source documentation, right? There are a bunch of markdown files of being able to explain to our end users how to use certain things within crew, like the core concepts of crew AI, right? And we have them stored in our knowledge directory. And we have another file, which is a core concepts mapping spreadsheet, which takes the topics uh, like agents, tasks, uh, memory planning, and then the link to our online source. And this QA agent is essentially going to provide real examples 
from the documentation and then provide a link pertaining to a topic, right? So again, let me just show you the agents. We have a support agent that will answer the kind of questions based of the given of using our examples. We have an example researcher that will use the mappings to provide a link, right? And, and, and use those links to show relevancies for providing answers of where they could expand and get more information from. And then we're gonna have a, like a answering agent that will put all of the question, the QAs together that can give an end user full output, right? Yeah, knowledge about crew and their open source docs, answer questions. You will need to provide some code examples to support uh, the question, right? Again, here are our tasks. We don't have any explicit details of how do you build crews, the agents, things of that nature. It's just super high level of like the core concepts that we have and what we want these things to do. And again, we can use the different adapters that we have to transform different file types into something our LLMs can use or our agents can use to generate vector embeddings for them. And one of them is this crew docking source, which can take spreadsheets, images, different file types, and transform them into something our vector database can consume. Then we're going to iterate through all of the docs within an open source repository, right? Uh, within that's defined here in our knowledge. We have folders from concepts to how to guides. So we're going to take into account all of these files and we're going to pass them into the text file knowledge source, right? This is the one that can accept markdown X files. And what we have here is our support agent will get knowledge from the crew level, but we want this links mapping sheet that we've defined. This is the core concepts of spreadsheet. We want only our example researcher to have this, right? So our support agent and our question answering agent does not. And then we want to give all of our agents the crew docs knowledge sources, right? So all three agents now have this, but only our example researcher has the link mapping sheet. So if I were to show you what we're going to run, our question is how can I define an agent in crew AI and how can I use knowledge sources in there? Boom. So I'm gonna do crew AI run. And again, our end goal is to kind of give this a QA kind of feel, right? This is the question use our docs to provide relevant context, code snippets, and generate an answer that can provide links for our end customer or users, right? And let's see how it does. Knowledge, learn about knowledge systems. Here's the core concepts with AI with for their agents and then core concepts for knowledge. These all work. So if I were to click on this and open it, it should go directly to our knowledge docs, which it's doing over there. Perfect, and let's see how it's scaffolding. String knowledge source, perfect. This is exactly what I wanted. It'll define it here on the agent level, and boom, this is really good. So how do I clear memory, clear things that already exist? So if I want to introduce new knowledge sources or things change here and I want to include more details, you could do create I, reset memories KN, or A. A will remove all the other memories like short term, long term, and so forth. We're not using that for this scope, but just for you guys to know. And then boom, knowledge has been reset. How do we change them better? So if we go over to our agents, wherever we have knowledge sources defined, you could just do a better, which is a dictionary. We can pass in the provider. And then we can pass in the config, which will have the model. And we support different and better providers from like Cohere to things that are deployed on Hugging Face. So we go down over here, we support different configurations for how you want to use your vector embeddings to generate those knowledge sources. So we support Bedrock, Watson, IBM, Alama, Azure, Google, Vertex AI, Cohere, and Bedrock.
and OpenAI, obviously. And OpenAI is the default embedding model that we use. So if you don't have anything defined and you already have an OpenAI key, this will just work out of the box without having to define anything. And again, all the details for changing embedders are provided over here. But yeah, that's pretty much a wrap on knowledge. If you guys have any other questions regarding knowledge, memory systems, comment down below what you guys want to hear next. But yeah, that's it for me. Again, my name is Lorenz. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys learned something new and stay, stay tuned for the next one. See you guys.